of the things I do when I'm not working and I'm procrastinating on a project <laughs> is uh, work on some DIY project. So this is one of the ones I did. It's a floating shelf. Um, I saw somebody else do a similar design on YouTube where they essentially use dowel rods um, between two pieces of wood here to essentially support the shell. And so I did something very similar here. I ended up fabricating or making this piece. This is uh, 10 inches across, it's two inches, so it's a two by 10. Uh, it's really nine and a half. And then I just curved the edges with a jigsaw. And then I ended up using a half inch drill bit and screwing, kind of like if this was the opposite, drilling through a half inch. And then using, um, instead of a wooden dowel rod, I used a metal dowel rod across here for supports. Um, and so, yeah, because I, I did that, the, I had perfect holes for metal a metal dowel rod. So then I took it into my table saw and I made a cut across, which you can't see because thankfully it's hidden. That's the whole point. I might be able to barely see it here. And essentially I fused these two pieces of wood together and then I used a Craig jig screw to essentially hold the shelf in place. So that's kind of one of the projects I worked on. The other one is a little bigger. Let me take you back here. Alexa, turn on bed. There we go. Yeah, so sorry for the laundry, but uh, <laughs> I uh, ended up building this awesome bed. It has six drawers on this side, six on the back side, and um, I love it. It's been really great. It was a huge project. It took two weeks to build, and it was a big pain in the butt. No, not really, but I'm really happy with it. Um, it looks really, really pretty, and it's solid. It's heavy, um, and does the trick for me. So. I'm not done with this whole bed setup. The next thing I'm working on, I'm gonna be putting in another floating shelf here because as you see, I have some junk over there. I tend to set my phone down here or I set it on the side here and it falls to the ground pretty often and it's super annoying. So I'm gonna have a shelf up top and then I think underneath, I'm either gonna have one solid piece of plywood that I'll stain to match the bed or I'll have different planks to make it look like um, the same thing I'm doing above that floating shelf. And above that floating shelf, I'm gonna have um, reclaimed wood. So back here, it'll be like a pallet, pallet wood design. And so that's the next step that I'm currently working on. Let's, let me show you that. Alexa, turn off bed. So now I take you back over to my workshop. These are the pallets. Let me start you with the pallets itself. So I took the pallets, I stripped off some planks, and I'm gonna cut all that up, and um, I gotta pull the nails next, and then I'm gonna bleach it. After a few hours of work, I realized that these planks were a little bit too dirty for my taste. So I went ahead and got some plywood, stained it, and then cut it down into strips. This saved me time on sanding so I didn't have to worry about the rough edges of the reclaimed wood. And then I ripped down the plywood into strips on my table saw. And then ultimately I glued it to a board. And this is the board that I installed the wall. I did a small floating shelf as you can see here. And that's what holds a bunch of the knickknacks on top. You'll see that I used the same dowel system that I explained in the first part of the video. So there you have it. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you in the next one.